Jesse, your boy, drop a lesson here. And today it's going to be the Premier League game with predictions. We have a whopping in total. We have, let me check, one, two, three, four, five. We've got 10 games we need to get through. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, next, we have Saturday, the 3rd of February. We have five games for you guys to endure. We have a 12 3 kickoff and a 5 3 kickoff. The 12 3 kickoff is going to be Everton and Spurs. Now, Everton drew their game against Fulham, while Spurs beating Brentford by 3 goals to 2. Now, this should be a good game to watch. Um, in my opinion, though, I feel like it's going to be a draw between those two teams because, you know, going against the park is not the easiest place to go, especially Everton, who are fighting for fighting to stay up in the league. So, you know, you will expect them to fight harder. So I'm going for a draw. Brighton against Palace. Now, Palace managed to win their game uh, over the week against Sheffield United, if I'm not mistaken. However, for Brighton, they actually got destroyed by Luton Town by four goals to nil. I mean, none of us were expecting that scoreline, but it happened. This won't be an easy one, though, for um, Palace. So that's what I'm going to say. Brighton to get back to winning ways. Burnley against Fulham. Now this is gonna be the first shock of the um the whole thing. Now yes, Burnley they haven't won the game for like how many years now? And um Fulham managed to get a draw against um Everton. I'm gonna say Burnley to beat Fulham. I feel like it's gonna be a shocking it's gonna be a shocking uh, result, you know, in that game. Newcastle versus Luton. Now, Newcastle were the first team to go to Villa Park and beat Villa in the league. So, kudos to them. Whilst Luton always spoke about already, they are managed to beat Brighton by four goals to nil, which is not easy to beat a very good Brighton side. Let me tell you that for free. And, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to say Luton Town to beat Newcastle United. Sheffield United versus Villa, that is the 5 3 to kick off. Now, Sheffield United lost over the week against Palace. Villa losing against um, Newcastle at home. First home loss in the league. Um, they are going to go to Brewer Lane. However, I feel like Villa will be able to show their composure and not let it affect them. That's what I'm going to say a win for them. Now, Sunday, we have four games for you guys to go through. We have Bournemouth against Forest. Now, Bournemouth. Um, they played against West Ham and lose and they managed to get a draw against them whilst um, Forrest, Forrest lost 2 1 against Arsenal despite putting some late pressure on Arsenal. Um, you know, Bournemouth are the home team and I think Bournemouth will be able to um, comfortably, comfortably able to beat um, Forrest. So I'm going to say um, if Bournemouth win. Chelsea against Wolves. No, Chelsea. Loss absolutely bad against um, Liverpool by four goals to one. Was Wolves and United went back and forth. Um, I believe Wolves were two 0 down. They managed to get. They were hoping to get a point, and then they lost it in the end. So it must have been devastating for them. They are a top side of play, and, and I feel like they will be a difficult team to play against as well on Sunday. But I think Chelsea will like to get back to winning ways immediately. So I'm going to say a win for Chelsea. Man United versus West Ham. Man United and West Ham always spoke about the teams already. I think with Rashford back and Rashford looked very good against the um, Wolves. Um, I'm going to say United to win that game. And now the main one. We have Arsenal against Liverpool. Now this is the big one here. Arsenal Liverpool. Managed to both win their games. Um, Liverpool are currently top of the table, and also look uh, just behind them as well. It's going to be a great game to watch. Uh, it's going to be very, very. Hmm, it's going to be a very intense match because two good teams are facing each other, looking to get the Premier League title. As you know, Klopp will be leaving, so Liverpool are looking to try and um, get something for him in the end of the season. However, though, I'm going to say a draw between those two teams. And Monday Night Football, we have Brentford and Manchester City. You know, Brentford managed to, unfortunately, lost 3-2 against Wolves. Well, City losing. The City managed to beat Burnley very comfortably, I believe, 3-1. Um, 
Although City will be the favourites to win this game, I'm going to say Brentford to beat City. So those are the predictions for this upcoming games on this weekend and also Monday. This has been Joppa Lesson here. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye for now.